So as newbie lifters, we pretty much become sponges that absorb any and all information, all in pursuit of trying to get stronger and more muscular. The problem is that within that information, there could be a lot of good information and then a lot of myths that could actually be hurting your gain. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna be debunking five things that you're probably doing, thinking that is helping you, but instead, it could be hurting you. So fitness mistake number one, stretching before a workout. We've been touching our toes since probably PE class when we were in elementary school. Until this day, there's a lot of trainers that will tell you that this is very crucial before you even start lifting. However, some studies have shown that stretching cold muscles can actually have negative effects on power and performance during a workout. I'm gonna have that study linked below. You can read more in depth about it. But what I recommend and have recommended before in some of my fitness videos is to perform dynamic movements before a workout. I find these to be more useful as you're targeting muscles that you're gonna be using during the workout. So for example, doing some push-ups before a chest day or bench press or doing some air squats before heavy squatting. You will find that dynamic movements do a much better job of loosening up your muscles. Mistake number two, the more exercise, the better. Again, as newbies, we become like addicted to the gym. As soon as you start seeing your body morph, you gain a little bit of muscle here, and you see all the positive benefits of going to the gym bring you, the logical train of thought is, well, I need more of this. Gym is like a drug, you become addicted to it. And some people to the point that they might go two times a day every day, but this is a huge mistake. Rest days are just as important as workout days. Because on rest days, it's when your body repairs all the damaged muscles so it grows bigger and stronger muscles. So you need those rest days to let your body recuperate. Number three, cardio does not kill your gains. This is a big general misconception by a lot of people in the weightlifting community. Some weightlifters won't even touch a treadmill and swear that they were, it'll regress their gain. It takes a lot of cardio for catabolism to actually play an effect. So while it can happen that too much cardio will destroy your muscles, like my previous tip, it's all about balance and not overdoing it. Number four is to listen to your body. So the general gym goer will tell you to push, 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 and push through even on the days you don't wanna go. But it's very important to listen to what the, your body is telling you. So here's the scenario. Say your body's still completely sore from the day before, you had a horrible night's rest, a crappy day at work, and you just feel like trash. And today's a gym day. General consensus will tell you to push and go through it. While, and while this mentality can be good sometimes, other times it could be detrimental because you are stacking abuse on top of abuse on your body, which can lead to bad and weak form, which can lead to injuries. So listen to your body and if you feel like crap, take a day off, recuperate, and then hit the gym hard the next day. And finally, the fifth and final mistake, and one that is very common, is not mastering mind and muscle control. So it's very easy to fall into a routine in the gym where you just go, move a weight from point A to point B, and assume that you're getting the most bang for your buck or the most successful workout. But in reality, you're not getting the full potential of each movement. It's great to be as efficient as possible at the gym and mind and muscle control really contribute to that. And what that means is that within each movement, say you're doing bench press, you really wanna focus in on those muscle groups as you're contracting and squeezing through the workout. What this is gonna do is it's gonna increase the time under tension in a specific muscle group, which will attribute to significantly more gains as opposed to just moving away without actually even thinking about it. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are just some five mistakes that I've done in the past and I've learned from, and hopefully I can help you avoid. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Don't forget to check out App Tip. I'm gonna have it linked below with a discount code. It's a great fitness app to get your at home or outdoor workout without having to go to the gym. So that's it for me in today's video. See you next time.